I'm going to talk about rendering. And you should have already play blasted your animation. Right click and play blast it. And you're checking for multiple things. First off, you're checking on timing to make sure the timing of the animation is, is looking good. Not too fast or not too slow. You're looking at poses and whether those poses are reading. Maybe some of the camera positions. And then seeing if the follow through and overlapping is working as well. Those are things you should be doing with play blast before we get to this point. So in terms of rendering, we've got a bunch of settings we need to modify under the render globals. We're going to image format of TIFF. We're going to have a extension of name number extension. Uh, we're rendering in TIFF because of the problems we've been getting with video footage going to Premiere. So you've got audio, Premiere's not really working. We've got to export as TIFF, and then we'll take that into After Effects. You modify your start and end frame here. You select the renderable camera. Mine's called Render Cam. Image size HD 720 is more than enough. If you want to go to 1080, that's fine. It's going to take a lot longer to render that. Under Maya software, we're going to production quality. And that's fine. And you can decide whether you want to turn on or turn off ray tracing. Ray tracing allows you to generate reflections. If you don't have reflections in your animation, you can turn that off because this is very expensive in terms of rendering time. Another thing that's very heavy on rendering time is motion blur. If you decide you want to use it, it's set to motion blur of 2D. But again, very expensive, takes a lot of time. You may want to do a few tests with or without it to see whether you have the time to be able to render it in that method. The last thing I wanted to say is you want to know where these files are going. So I, go by, I went back to my common tab and you'll see that my path is C drive, Dropbox, uh, Junkbox, and then the file name from file one all the way to 720, all right, because that's the frame number. That is totally okay. Uh, if you don't have that, you can go to file, you go to project, and then set that project. You can set it to any folder you like where it's easy to find. Because, because by default, Maya will save to your user and then your default project, and it's kind of hard to find through your My Documents. So this is the way I have mine set up. You, could, you should do that as well. Uh, once you're done with that, hit close and you can save that. And once you're done saving it, uh, go ahead and find that file. Here is my file, uh, female file. Final is what it's called. You know, Tyler. I can right click on that and then go to render. I can close this so I don't have Maya running anymore. And this will load up. And you can monitor the process and the progress of your render file. I just seen the frame number, so I'll just let this play. You can see the frame numbering right there, so finish rendering frame six.